at this point uh, it is time for to bring a Twitter question forward. Uh, there were quite a few, um, unable to get to all of them, uh, but I've chosen this one. Uh, candidates, what would you do to improve building permit application process to speed up the wait times for permits to be issued? What would you do to improve building permit application process to speed up the wait times for permits to be issued? And the first candidate to respond is candidate Michael Walters. So we've done a fair bit of work on this in the last term, knowing that this is a city that is, uh, you know, growing rapidly and there's a lot of construction activity. So in the suburban community, uh, what happens is there's a pre-qualification of, of more established builders that uh, uh, allow for the ex expeditious approval of permits and those that are less experienced uh, have to go through more rigor. Uh, I think that idea, that idea has actually been raised as it relates to uh, development in mature neighborhoods as well where those that have good reputations and build product that is quality and give neighbors a good experience get expedited permits and those who haven't proven themselves are uh, put through more rigor. A couple things we need to do is have a one-stop shop for small applications and for larger applications. You don't want someone building a $20 million industrial park in line for a permit behind someone building a, a patio. Uh, so we've uh, done those sorts of things and the pre-application process, lots of permits are slowed down because the applicant doesn't fill out the application correctly. So training for applicants is important. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, candidate Glenda Williams. Paul, I would have to check and see if, uh, yeah, definitely I would have to check and see uh, if they've done the due diligence to um, uh, fill everything out correctly and uh, any, any type of uh, caveats that they might have to do. I just have to check and see that everything's filled up properly and uh, aside from that definitely um, advocate that the, the uh, um, established uh, builders with the good reputation um, that they can get their permits faster and the people that um, need more due diligence um, they're probably going to have to wait a little longer. So. Okay, thank you. Uh, candidate Vieri Beretti. So my experience with uh, permitting with the city <laughs> is that uh, every time I went to go get a permit approved, there was a different officer. I talked to a different person and they didn't know what, you know, at what point I was at. So I think one of the ways that you can create efficiency and create uh, productivity is to have each department have two or three or four, how many people are needed for a specific zone or area in the city. So Ward 10 would have a certain amount of officers or planners or uh, people who approved zoning who would know the community, they would know the developers, they would know the people who lived in those areas, they would be able to develop relationships and I think that's one way you can create efficiency and productivity in those kind of uh, situations. Thank you. Thank you. Candidate Samantha Hees. I definitely think that this is something that we need to work on speeding up. Um, whether it's a issue of um, putting one lineup for all types of building and businesses or whether um, we need to look at um, making multiple lineups. So one business is not the same as another. If one business is going to pull in millions and millions of dollars and one business is a mom and pop restaurant, they can't be put in the same lineup because they need to be um, looked at separately by different people. I think that we need to look at the way that we are evaluating business licenses and um, look at ways to expedite the process. Thank you. Candidate Sim Senal. So my, my infill strategy, uh, what I call smart and responsible densification, is actually based on a front loading of design, of, of planning. That's what we're missing. Uh, in mature neighborhoods, we do not have a, a current and a shared vision for our area. Area development plans are completely um, outdated. 
Uh, and uh, that's what I'm proposing as, first of all, the number one step. Work with the communities, first of all, to have a vision about where communities want the development, where communities want, what type of uh, development they want in their communities. Uh, that's what zoning is for. Uh, if the city keeps on kind of not following its own rules, then it becomes harder. So if we have a good plan, a, uh, an area development plan, uh, people that are actually building towards that plan, you can speed up uh, those applications a lot easier and anybody is looking for variances, they better wait. Thank you. And uh, let's give a round of applause to all the candidates. And to our next live audience question.